Hey, here we go. It's Monday. It's 12 o'clock. It's Magic Monday Live with Michael Heppel. Here he is on your computer screen. And then he said on your telly. <laughs> That's a bit ambitious, wasn't it? On your telly. On your television. So this is um, Magic Monday. Turn my music down a little bit. Because sometimes I can play it a bit too loud. It's the best day of the week on Monday, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Had a lovely morning. Things have been kicking along at some kind of a pace. And I'm about to go for lunch. Outdoor lunch with one of my bestest mates of all time, Richard Nugent. We're going out for lunch in the grounds of Hexham Abbey. Hey! <clears throat> so we're thrilled about that. But today is all about writing. Yes, I'm going to be talking about writing. Why we need to write every single day. I'm going to give you five reasons. Five reasons to write every single day. But first of all, should we do the um, should we do the branding? Hang on. Oh, I should have this so ready. It's meant to be one of those quick fire things. Where I just click a button, it's just meant to work. Which is fine if I can do this. It's the start of the week. Grab your coffee cups. It's Magic Monday Live! Yeah. Ah! I know, it's a bit Alan partridge that last bit. I'm sorry, but um, it's fun, isn't it? It's fun, it's fun, it's fun. And that's what Magic Monday is all about, enjoying yourself, having a bit of fun. So today we are talking about writing, writing every single day. And of course, one thing you could write right now is where you're watching from. Who are you? Why are you here? Tell us about your day, just something so we can share with people because these fingers and this bit of equipment here or... One of these and one of these is the thing that sets us apart from pretty much, well, everything else in society, isn't it? There's, well, all other animals. I mean, there's a lot of other things I know with animals, like we can demonstrate proper love and that type of stuff. But, um, and some people say, well, dogs can. I know. I think dogs are looking for food like cats. Somebody was telling me on Friday that they got the cat to love them just by keeping food away from them until they were affectionate. Then when they were affectionate, they got a bit of food. And that was how they taught their cat to love them. Why not? So, yes, so today um, I'm talking about writing every single day. And this is something that I really do have as a discipline. Every day, Christmas Day, well, I always write my um, little journal at the end of a Christmas day. So I probably do write every day. And I'm not talking about writing books necessarily. But, you know, writing books is a, if you are writing a book, if you want to write a book, then writing every day is a great discipline. Even if you're not writing your book, just to be able to write something every single day is key. There's no doubt about it. But obviously people say, well, Michael, I would love for you to write something every single day, but I haven't got the time. I haven't got the time to do it. Well, look, let me just share this with you. Um, share screen um, window. Look at this. This is great. That was posted today. Attend the Guardian chat with the author Douglas Stewart last week. It was so interesting to hear how he'd find the time to write, even when he had a full-on job working from 7 a.m. till 8 or 9 p.m. at night. Had to write down his answer because I think we could all gain from it. What about this? I wrote in the margins of my life. I haven't got time to write every day, Michael. I wrote in the margins of my life. I just think that is absolutely brilliant. I mean, really, really brilliant, isn't it? It's one of those things that when you see that, you go, oh, good, that's when you write. I write in the margins of my life. Oh, perfect. So would you like to have five reasons? I wrote these down. Of course I did. Talking about writing. Five reasons why it's a good idea to write every single day. One, it wakes up your brain. If you start off your day just by writing some stuff, and whether it's a to-do list, a must-do list, a, a review of what you did the day before, a 500 words towards your book or a report or whatever it might be, it wakes up your brain. So that's number one, cha-ching. Number two, 
your stream of consciousness is a, a awakened. Yes, awakened. And he said awakened. <laughs> awakened. <laughs> Will you see what number five is? <laughs> right. Your stream of consciousness is awakened when you start to write. In other words, if you might have an idea in your head and you think you need to get from A to B, when you start to write something, your brilliant brain will go from A to B to C to D to E. And the thing that might have got you from A to B is definitely not going to be the thing that gets you from A through to D. So if that makes sense, that's basically what I'm saying is when you start to create something, one idea leads to another idea, which leads to another idea and so on. And I know for a fact that some of my best ever ideas didn't come from sitting down to try and think of that idea. It was the idea that came from the idea, which then came from the idea. Next, and this is, the, <laughs> I want to bring this one in now because it was so good after I've just what I've just said. It expands your vocabulary. <laughs> Yes, the more you write, the better your vocabulary. If you think about the average person has a vocabulary of around about 10,000 words, the average category B prisoner has a vocabulary of five or 600 words, mm -hmm. imagine how your vocabulary, vocabulary, God's vocabulary. <laughs> what a thing to get stuck on. Imagine how your vocabulary could improve by writing. So the more you write, the better your vocabulary, especially when you do right click and you have a little look at the thesaurus or the synonyms or the other other things, other names for other words. Yeah. Right. Next thing is um, the better you write, the better you communicate. No doubt at all about that. If you're better at writing, you're better at communicating verbally. You're better at communicating visually. You're better at communicating in every way. So the more you write, the better you are at communicating. And number five, which was number four, but it's now number five. Um, when it's out, it can't shout. Think about that. When you get it out of there and on the paper, it can't shout. Actually, that's probably the best one, isn't it? When it's out, it can't shout. If you have words, if you've got ideas, if you've got things going around in there and problems and challenges and all that type of stuff, if you get it out, it can no longer shout and that frees up this space for something else. So there we go. There's a few ideas. Should we see who's here? Um, I, 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 and I've got to go for lunch. So not a long one today. Um, so Dean Coulson, good afternoon. Happy new week. Now, let me just tell you about Dean because Dean is... Um, just finishing off right where well, he's finished now. He's finished writing his book. His book is in production. It's a book called Thrive, and it's going to be published on June the 15th. And if you're on Facebook, just search for Dean in the How to Be Brilliant group. If you're on LinkedIn watching this, just search for Dean. And if you're on anything else, just search for Dean and Dean Coulson. Um, the, the book is called Thrive, and he's taking pre-orders, and the first 100 copies are signed hardbacks, and it's going to be absolutely brilliant. If you haven't ordered it yet, get the book ordered. Writing every day. That's how we got over the line. That's how we did it, starting to write every single day. Here's Jenny from Manchester. Hello, Jenny. Here's Sarah. Howdy from Hove. This is the howdy thing coming on now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, just sent a message to Sarah, which I... She responded very, very swiftly. Exciting news. Steve Kelly. Hello, everyone from Sunny Keithley. Steve um, did a great uh, Sunday broadcast yesterday about elevator pitches and about how we communicate and how we introduce ourselves. And I was like, "This. why don't we teach this in schools? Why don't we teach young people how to introduce themselves properly, how to start a conversation properly? Why don't we do that? Um. Hi from Kent. Hello. And we love writing. We love writing. Love writing. Yeah, we love writing. And there's a hello from Cranbrook in Kent. Cool. Hello from Iranian Windy. Hi, Wickham. Just made it back to the car for the live. Well done, KC. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. David Rogers has got a book coming out on the 1st of June, uh, which is called Fuel Fit and Fired Up. And the foreword is written by Michael Hebel. Yes, get that book ordered. Is that can we order now, David? Yeah, let us know how we got to order that. Um, you look so different on stage. Still fab though. You look so different on stage. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> you know, I'm taller on stage. 
definitely. I must have told you the story before where I once went to do an event and um, I actually wrote a newsletter about it recently. And I got there and the person who um, had, had, was doing the, the booking, sorry, the person who was organizing the event was like, oh, hi, come, come meet the chief exec. Come, she's really excited about meeting you. Come meet the chief exec. And I went over to this lady and she, she looked at me and she went, well, I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> the first thing that went out of my head was going to be, well, I thought you'd be thinner. Can't say that. Hello, Philippa. Namaste. Namaste to you. Mr. H, greetings from a very hot New Delhi. Philippa, we are thinking about what you are doing in India right now and what you are helping with. Philippa is one of those extraordinary, incredible people. There's obviously a huge crisis going on in India right now, and she is helping and she is preparing food for people and she's doing so much stuff. It's absolutely amazing. It really is incredible. Um, it's a sunny Monday in Kent. That's good news. Hello from EL from EK. Oh, Mystic. You have to do that streamyard.com slash Facebook and to reveal your name. Hello from L from EK. That's a really good one. I'll have to find out who that is later on. And hello from Doncaster, writing Victoria Wilson Crane is writing. She's also writing a book. By the way, a lot of these people who are writing books, they are members of Write That Book, which we will be doing again. The pop up will be popping up and it will be announced next week yes next week we'll be announcing the pop-up all the details what's going to happen how it's going to happen it's going to be the best ever oh my goodness the stuff that i've got planned don't tell it now my god wait till next week next week the full announcement next monday will be happening really excited about that watching from strontane having a brilliant day thank you donald love to you and here's kate hi michael kate listening in bristol Thanks for having me. Well, Kate, how lovely to see you in that there Bristol. Oh, Bristol. Do like Bristol. Great foodie scene going on there. Hi, Michael. Nathan from Portugal here. Nathan, how nice to see you in Portugal. Portugal is, I think, is it on our green list. Can we go to Portugal? Yeah. Hi from sunny Norfolk. Hi, Lynn. Great to see you. Roger, hello from Doncaster, still writing. Roger did a great story at the weekend. Did you see his post about um, get about links with famous people? He was hitchhiking, and Bet Lynch, Julie Thingy, and he said Julie Waters, but it's not Julie Waters. Julie Goodyear from Coronation Street gave him a lift. And there was two of the cast members from um, Coronation Street in the car, and he got a lift up to Manchester. That is such a good one, isn't it? That is brilliant. Brilliant comment. Thank you. Yes, Kate. Hello. Something that really improved my week last week was doing three different 30-minute writing sprints with author Rachel Del Delahaye. Delahaye, more planned. Yeah, right, right, right. Vocabulary. <laughs> what a word. Um, someone else last week said he does free writing because it makes space for more ideas. Absolutely. Hi, Michael. Hello, Ashley Leeds. How nice to see you. And here's Angie saying hello from Essex. It's lovely to see you with your dad. At the, um, at the weekend. That was so lovely. Hello, George, Angie's dad. Hello from Neath. Taking a break out of revising my novel to watch. Oh, novels. Tell you what, everybody's got a book inside them. But remember, it's not the book that you read that will change your life. It's the book you write. And here's Nick Finney. Afternoon all. Sound, he said that like a policeman. Afternoon all. Anyway, great to see everybody today. Can I just share one more thing? Because this is really exciting. Um, just in my share screen. Share. Um, share screen. Window. Check this out. Look at this. Sarah McGough. This is literally the best Monday. I now have 100 reviews for Eddie Finds a Family, and it continues to be rated five stars. I'm delighted. and just want to thank you all for supporting me. Writing my first book was scary, but getting all these wonderful reviews makes me realize I did an amazing job and pushes me to want to achieve more with my writing. I can't wait to get Eddie Feels at Home designed and ready to be launched for the autumn. Isn't that so cool? It's such a great book. For those of you who don't know about it, this is one of those books that makes you just, it affirms life. It's a book about adoption. Um, it's beautifully done. The story is one of those wonderful stories that you could read 
to children or with children over and over and over. It's not just for families who have adopted children. It's for anybody. It really is brilliant. There's another book for you. There's a lot of book recommendations, come, but there's a lot of authors as part of this community and brilliant writers. I just love that. So well done, Sarah. Woohoo! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, I might actually have a, um, a... Do I have a cheering sound effect? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah! Yes, for the authors out there. Definitely. Way! Yay! Yay! Come on! <laughs> Oh, kicking off. Right, stop those, Michael. Thanks very much, everybody. I um, Let's have a little quick quick look. A few more people have just joined. Here we go. Hello from Newquay in Cornwall. Hello. Here's Manch. Hi, everyone. A brand new week, brand new opportunities. Greetings from the Essex coast. Manch. Book. <laughs> Hi there. Love the writing in the margins. Of, margins of, isn't that so good? I couldn't agree more. Hi, Michael. Oh, now what a cool name. Sharuk. 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 Oh, calm. See, that is a cool name. Just why am I Michael? <laughs> um, going to be published on Amazon before the 1st of June with a special discount for How to Be Brilliant, Team 17, and write that book, Master, which is fantastic, David. Good, good, good. Final proof copy arriving today. Alfie Joey! Whoa! As you speak, I'm drawing a book. Alfie Joey, brilliant illustrator, brilliant writer, brilliant broadcaster, brilliant stand-up comedian, brilliant event host, brilliant human being. Wow. E L from Eleanor. Hey! I don't think I was Eleanor Har Hannah until recently. I married my 63 year old boyfriend. Get in. Isn't that wonderful? Nikki Mason. Hi. Hi, Nikki. Um, I hope that we were able to answer your question this morning. We're on it. It should be done by this afternoon, I'm thinking. And here's Lucy catching up from Gateshead. Yay. Or oh, thanks for the mention. My pleasure, Sarah. Well done, Sarah McGough. Brilliant. Well done, Sarah. Everyone loves that Sarah's done. That's great, Sarah. 100 five-star reviews. That that you, you can't set that up. You cannot set that up. You cannot say, oh, I get a hundred people to do it. It's just because it's such a brilliant book. Selena, I love your enthusiasm. Greetings from beautiful Madeira. I, oh God, how jealous am I? How jealous am I? Oh, I've had I had such a great experience. My life kind of changed on that island. I'll tell you about that another day. Was that book or playing book? Book as a kit on the end. And there's hi Alfie from KC. Thanks very much, everybody. I've got to go. I'm meeting Richard Nugent for lunch at um the at Hexham Abbey in a marquee outside Hexham Abbey. Couldn't that be better? If you need Hexham, come and say hello to me and Richard. Wear a mask. See you soon. Be brilliant, everybody. Bye.